Hello everybody, what's up and welcome back to this week's episode of Benny in the Booth Podcast, episode 29. Thank you so much for the support to this point. We are actually almost up to an achie- the next achievement in episodes wise, episode 30, which is crazy to be saying. Uh, very crazy that we're almost at, we're basically at 30 episodes in. Crazy to reflect on and to think about and... Th- and I'm just happy to have been able to get to this point with all the support from everyone between YouTube and audio. Thank you so much. Today we've got MLB news. We've got some NB- MLB weekly recap. We've got NBA playoffs and some big NFL news. So let's get into it. MLB weekly recap. Starting from... The day from when we last left off, which was on Monday. So Monday's games, Monday the 11th, not yesterday. uh, A week ago from yesterday. Uh, The Indians beat the Royals 10-7. Logan Allen got the win. Jake Brents with the loss. The Orioles beating the Brewers. uh, The game was in Kansas City, by the way, the Cleveland game. Orioles winning in their home opener against the Brewers 2-0. Mike Bachman with Bauman with the win. Adrian Hauser with the loss and Jorge Lopez with the save. The Rockies beating the Rangers in the Rangers home opener 6-4. Daniel Bard the win. Greg Holland the loss and Ashton Godot with the save. The Tigers winning winning their home, winning at home against the Red Sox 3-1. Michael Former the win. Austin Davis the loss. Gregory Soto with the save. The Orioles beating the Tampa Bay Rays 13-2. Paul Blackburn with a win. Luis Patino with a loss. The Mets beating the Phillies in Philly. Uh, the Tampa Bay, Bay game was at Tampa, by the way. Oakland-Tampa was at Tampa. Uh, Mets beating the Phillies in Philly 5-4. Sir Anthony Dominguez... I'm sorry, no, far, sorry. The Phillies coming back from down 4 nothing. To beat the Mets 5-4 at home. Sir Anthony Dominguez with the lot win. Seth Lugo with the loss. Brian Hand with the save. The Blue Jays shutting out the Yankees in New York. 3-0. Uh, on the, 3-0. Alec Manoa with the win. Giant, Jameson Tyone with the loss. And Jordan Romano with the save. This game was all George Springer. He had the two run home had a two run home run and an RBI single for all three runs the Blue Jays got on that game. The Nationals shutting down the Braves at Atlanta eleven to two. Josh Rogers with the win. Who Oscar you know with the loss. The Twins shutting out the Mariners at home four nothing. Dylan Bundy with the win. Chris Flexen with the loss. The Angels beating the Marlins 6-2. Michael Lorenzen with the win. Eliezer Hernandez with the loss. The Padres beating the Giants at San Francisco 4-2. Stephen Wilson with the win. Tyler Rogers with the loss. And Taylor Rogers with the save. And the biggest note I have for this game is Tyler and Taylor are actually twin brothers. And they got to face each other in this game. Uh, With one of them, Tyler getting the loss. And one of them, Taylor getting the save. And then the last game from this day, which was Cardinals Pirate at the Pirate Pirates at the Cardinals, uh, but that game got postponed until June fourteenth. For the April twelfth games, the Red Sox beat the Tigers in Detroit five three. Garrett Whitlock with the win. Alex Lang with a loss. The Indians beat the Reds in Cincinnati 10-5. Tyler Stephen with a, Stephen with a win. Hunter Strickland with a loss. The Mar- the White Sox beat the Mariners for their home opener 3-2. Reynaldo Lopez with a win. Matt Brash with a loss. Liam Hendricks with a save. Cubs beating the Pirates in Pittsburgh's home opener 2-1. Drew Smiley with a win. Jose Quintana with a loss. And David Robertson with a save. The Rays winning at home against Oakland 9-8. Ryan Thompson with the win. Lou Trevino with a loss. The Mets shutting out the Phillies in Philadelphia 2-0. Tyler Megill with the win. Zach Mueller with the, sa- the loss. Edwin Diaz with the save. The Yankees came back the next day and would shut out 
the Blue Jays 4 0. Clay Holmes with the win, Yusei Kikuchi with the loss. The game I was at, the Orioles Brewers game, this was a back and forth game. Uh, the Brewers took an early lead on McCutcheon, two run, two run double. The Orioles then took the lead on a Cedric Mullins slam, but the Brewers would add, would then punch three in, would punch, get tie the game. Uh, with the t- tying run scoring on a ground rule double, RBI ground rule double from Hunter Renfro. Then they took the lead uh, in like the 7th or 8th. And then eighth, bottom of the 8th, the Orioles had bases loaded with nobody out against one of the best relievers in baseball, in Devin Williams, and didn't even get one run. And at that point, I knew, I stayed till the end, but I knew at that point it was over. Uh, they did manage to get a base runner against uh, Josh Hader, but it was not enough as the Brewers held on to win 5-4. Hobie Milner with the win. Felix Bautista with the loss. Josh Hader with the save. Marlins, the sorry, the Angels walked off the Marlins at home 4-3. Rysel Iglesias with the win. Anthony Bender with the loss. The Braves got back after being beat down in Game 1. Beating down the Nationals right back, including a bad... Uh, Double up by the Nationals, not managing it well. With odd cir- situation that just didn't, they didn't play well. Uh, Braves won that game 16-4. Bryce Elder with the win. Patrick Corbin with a loss. And S- Jackson Stevens with the save. I guess it got into a save situation somehow. Could, usually, it's if it's not a close game, it could be pitch like three innings or something. Hmm. Uh, either way, Dodgers beat the Twins in Minnesota 7-2. Daniel Hudson with the win. Emilio Pagan with the loss. And it's not even the biggest of that series uh, between the Dodgers and the Twins. We'll get to that momentarily. The Roy- the Cardinals and Royals went back to for- and forth, including Albert Pulos hitting his first home run of the year. Now at that point getting up to 680 in- for his career. And they barely held on to win, winning 6-5. Jordan Hicks with the win, Daniel Lynch with the loss, and Giovanni Gallegos with the save. The Rockies beating the Rangers once again in Texas, 4-1. Joe Chassin with the win, Martin Perez with the loss, Daniel Bard with the save. The Astros beating the Diamondbacks 2-1 in Arizona. Hector Neres with the win, Mark Melanson with the loss, Brian Presley with the save. And the last game for for the 12th, Padres, the, the Giants... On the back of, I think it was like a six-run inning, uh, beat, hammering the Padres 13-2. Alex Cobb with the win, Hugh Darvish with the loss. Another note from that game is a controversial bunt that the, that uh, I think it was Estrada or something, did with like up by nine runs. And most people were like, what the heck are you doing? That's not right. And before uh, Giants manager Gabe, Gabe Kapler came out, I thought that was, like, wrong. And then Kapler came out and made, like, a fair claim that, like, no, it's right because by doing that, you can run up how many pitchers they use and how much bullpen they have left in future games. And when I heard that, I was like, actually, that's kind of smart. Now, you could still make a claim that, yeah, like, against modern, like, the whole run rules of baseball. But then on the other hand, like... In a way, though, not because he is right. It is a way to run. It's a move towards the series itself and making them use more arms to win a game. So, actually, it was kind of a smart move in a way. Uh, but anyways, that was it for those games. Uh, April 13th games. The Nationals being Atlanta at home 3-1. to one, Josiah Gray with the win. Max Fried with the loss. Tanner Rainey with the save. The Indians beating the... Reds in Cincinnati, 7-3. Eli Morgan with the win. Nick Lodolo with the loss. The Cubs beating the... No, sorry. The Pirates beating the Cubs at home. Oddly enough, in my notes, I wrote Cubs twice. Uh, 6-2. Dylan Peters with the win. Kyle Hendricks with the loss. And Will Crow with the save. The Mets beating out the Phillies... 9-6, 9-6, Max Scherzer with the win, Aaron Ola with the loss. The Red Sox beating out the Tigers in Detroit, 9-7. Nathan Eovaldi with the win. Eduardo Rodriguez with the loss, and Hansel Robles with the save. The Dodgers shutting out the Twins, 7-0. Kane Kershaw with the win, Chris Pack with the loss. This was the crazy game because Kershaw actually was taken out after 7 innings of the perfect game. It got broken up in the 8th on a Gary Sanchez hit. 
and everyone was all like, what are you doing? A perfect game. But at the end of the day, and part of this was also thanks to someone else to mention it, he's in a contract year, he's old, he has injury history. So in a way, it probably was protection because of his injury, but in a way though, like, and he also has two no-hitters to his credit. It's not like he hasn't had, like, a pitcher milestone a big in one game milestone. He's had two no hitters to his credit, uh, but I don't. It's I'm like kind of torn. It's like on one hand, like perfect game tops anything you could do practically in your career on the field, but on the other hand, he has a lot of injury history. So, but Kershaw wasn't mad at the decision. Apparently, he even was in support of taking himself out. He wasn't even looking at the chance of a perfect game. So. Do whatever works for him works for him, and that's all I could say really at this point. Uh, moving on, Diamondbacks winning at home against the Astros, three to two. Oliver Perez with the win, Ryan Presley with the loss. The Giants winning at home against the Padres, two to one. Logan Webb with the win, Sean Manaya with the loss, Camilo Duvall with the save. <laughs> the Athletics beating Tampa at Tampa Bay, beating the Rays. At Tampa, 4-2, Frankie Montas with the win, Shane McClanahan with the loss, and Lou Trevino with the save. The Blue Jays winning against the Yankees in New York, 6-4, Adam Simber with the loss, Twin, Chad Green with the loss, and Joe Romano with the save, and Vlad Jr. in this game had a three-homer game. Um, He had one homer, had his hand stepped on on a play at first base, stayed in the game, and then hit two more to have a three-homer game. They as they won that game six four, blue the Brewers beating the Orioles at Baltimore four to two. Brad Broxberger with the win, Jorge Lopez with a loss, and Josh Hader with a save. And then the last game on this day, the <coughs> excuse me, the White Sox beating the Mariners at home six to four. What Dallas Keuchel with the win, Robbie Ray with the loss, and Liam Hendricks with the save. The Royals Cardinals game on this day got postponed until May second. From April 14th, the Orioles beating the Tampa Bay Rays in Tampa 6-3. Cole Irvin with a win. Josh Fleming with the loss and Danny Jim Jimenez with the save. The Mariners beating the White Sox in Chicago 5-1. Logan Gilbert with the win. Jimmy Lambert with his loss. The Cardinals... Losing to the Brewers in Milwaukee, 5-1. Brandon Woodruff with the win. Adam Wainwright with the loss. The Nationals losing to the Pirates in Pittsburgh, 9-4. Roden Z. Contreras with the win. Jo- Joanne Adon with the loss. The Marlins being Philly at home, 4-3. Sandy Alcantara with the win. Kyle Gibson with the loss. Anthony Bender with the save. <coughs> Excuse me. The Rangers... Beating the Angels 10-5 at home. John King with the win. Tech, Shohei Otani with the loss. Uh, the, the Tigers beating the Royals at home 4-2. Joe, Jim, Joe Jimenez with the win. Jake Brents with the loss. Gregory Soto with the save. The Padres dominating the Braves at home 12-1. Joe Musgrove with the win. Charlie Morton with the loss. And Manny Machado had a five-home hit game with a home run in uh, in that game for the Padres. Excuse me. The Cubs beating the Rockies in Colorado 5-2. Keegan Thompson with the win. Kyle Freeland with the loss. And Michael Givens with the save. And then the last game on this day, the, the Dodgers dominating the Reds 9-3. Blake trying with the win. Justin Wilson with the loss. For April 15th, have a few more days of games left. The Mets winning at home in their home opener on the same day that they unveiled the Tom Seaver statue, beating the Diamondbacks 10-3. Chris Bassett with the win, Zach Davies for, with the loss. The, the Twins being the Red Sox in the Red Sox home opener, 8-4. Joe Ryan with the win, Nick Pavetta with the loss. <laughs> the Nationals beating the Pirates 7-2. Eric Fetty with the win, Mitch Keller with the loss. The Marlins being the Phillies 7-1. Pablo Lopez with the win. Zach Eflin with the loss. The Orioles beating the Yankees in 11 innings 2-1. Jory Krebiel with the win. Clark Schmidt with the loss. 
The Blue Jays beating the or the Athletics at home. Adam Simber with a four to one. Adam Simber with the win. Dalton Jeffries with the loss. Jordan Romano with the save. The Giants beating the Indians in the Indians home opener four one. Carlos Rodon with the win. Zach Plesac with the loss. Camilo Duvall with the save. The White Sox beating the Rays at home 3-2. Dylan Cease with the win. Drew Rasmussen with the loss. And Liam Hendricks with the save. The Angels beating the Rangers 9-6. Austin Warren with the win. Colby Allard with the loss. Rizal Iglesias with the save. Tigers beating the Royals 2-1. Jacob Barnes with the win. Brad Keller with the loss. Michael Fulmer with the save. The Cardinals beating the Brewers in Milwaukee 10-1. Miles Michaelis with the win. Freddie Peralta with the loss. The Rockies winning at home against the Cubs 6-5. Rock, Ty Block with the win. Marcus Stroman with the loss. Daniel Bard with the save. The Braves beating the Padres in San Diego 5-2. Darren O'Day with the win. Pierce Johnson with the loss. And Kelly Jansen with the save. The Mariners dominating the Astros at home 11-1. Marcus, Marco Gonzalez with the win. Zach, Jake Dovarizzi with the loss. And then the Dodgers beating the Reds at home 3-1. Tyler Anderson with the win. Vladimir Gutierrez with the loss. And Craig Kimbrell with the save. For April 16th, the Mets, the Diamondbacks being the Mets in New York 3-2. Zach, Sean Poppin with the win. Joel, Jolie Rodriguez with the loss. And Mark Melanson with the save. The White Sox winning at home against Tampa 3-2. Reynaldo Lopez with the win. Ryan Thompson with the loss. Liam Hendricks with the save. The Athletics being the Blue Jays in Toronto 7-5. Danny Jimenez with the win. Julian Merriweather with the loss. Lou Trevino with the save. The Braves beating the Padres in San Diego 5-2. Ian Anderson with the loss. Nick Martinez with the Ian Anderson with the win. Nick Martinez with the loss. And Kelly Jansen with the save. The Royals beating the Detroit at home 3-1. Colin Snyder with the win. Will Vest with the loss. And Josh Stalmont with save. The Red Sox shutting out the Twins 4-0. Tanner Houck with the win. Sonny Gray with the loss. The Giants beating the Indians in Cleveland. Uh, not Indians. Guardians. I keep on mixing it up still. Still have to remember not to mix those up. Yeah. Guardians, not Indians. Uh, 4-2, Dominic Leon with the win, Nick Sandlin with the loss, and Jake McGee with the save. The Phillies beating the Marlins 10-3 in Miami. Ranger Suarez with the win, Trevor Rogers with the loss. The Pirates beating the Nationals at home 6-4. Dylan Peters with the win, Josh Rogers with the loss. The Angels beating Texas in Texas 7-2. Noah Syndergaard with the win, Taylor Hearn with the loss. The Yankees beating the Orioles in Baltimore 5-2. J.P. Sears with the win. Travis Lakins, the senior, the, with the loss. Clay Holmes with the save. Bre- or, yeah. Cardinals over the Brewers 2-1 in Milwaukee. Stephen Matz with a win. Adrian Hauser with the loss. Giovanni Gallegos with the save. The Rockies beating the Cubs at home 9-6. Antonio Sensatello with the win. Mark Leiter Jr. with the loss. And Daniel Bard with the save. The Astros beating the Mariners in Seattle 4 0. Justin Verlander with the win. Chris Flexen with the loss. And then the Dodgers over the Reds 5 2. Evan Phillips with the win. Hunter Green with the loss. And Daniel Hudson with the save. Two last days of games for the MLB Weekly Recap. The Orioles shutting out the Yankees at home 5 0. Jorge Lopez with the win. Jonathan Loisico with the loss. <coughs> The Pirates beating the Nationals at home 5-3. Heath Hembry with a win. Steve Ciszek with a loss. Dave Bednar with a save. The Red Sox shutting the, uh, beating the Twins 8-1. Matt Strom with a win. Bailey Ober with a loss. The Blue Jays beating the o Athletics 4-3 at home. Alec Manoa with a win. Adam Oliver with Aller, not Oliver, Aller with a loss. Jordan Romano with a save. The Mets beating the, shutting down, shutting out the Diamondbacks 5 0 at home. Jason Treve with the win. No Ramirez with the loss. The Giants beating the Guardians at Cleveland 8 1. Alex Wood with the win. Aaron Savali with the loss. The Marlins beating down the Phillies 11 3. Eliezer Hernandez with the win. Zach Wheeler with the loss. The Rays beating the White Sox in Chicago 9 3. Chris Matt Mazo with the win. Vic Velasquez with the loss. The Brewers beating the Cardinals at home 6-5. Jake Cousins with the win. Dakota Hudson with the loss. Josh Hader with the save. Angels beating Texas in Texas 
eight to three. Jake Myers, Mike Myers with the win. Martin Perez with the loss. The Cubs winning the finale against the Rockies in Colorado, 6-4. Rowan Wick with the win. Austin Gomber with the loss. And David Robertson with the save. Ro- Dodgers hammering the Reds in the finale, 9-1. Andrew Heaney with the win. Tyler Maley with the loss. The Mariners beating down the Astros, 7-2. Matt Bra- Bra- with the win. Jose Urquini with the loss. And then the last game that wasn't postponed, because there was a postponed game, on this day, uh, Padres beating the Braves on Sunday Night Baseball 2 1. You Darvish with the win, Bryce Elder with the loss, Taylor Rogers with the save, and the Royals Tigers game on this day got postponed until July 11th. And then the last day of games to go through, which was yesterday's games, the Twins hammering the Red Sox in Boston 8 3. Dylan Bundy with the win, Rich Hill with the loss, Cubs winning the home. At home against Tampa 4 2. Keegan Thompson with the win, Jason Adam with the loss, David Robertson with the save. The Brewers hammering the Pirates at home 6-1. Eric Lauer with the win. Zach Thompson with the loss. The Astros beating the Angels 8-3 at home. Luis Garcia with the win. Michael Lorenzo with the loss. The Rockies at home beating the Phillies 4-1. Chad Cole with the win. Aaron Ola with the loss. Alex Colomay with the save. The Athletics beating the Orioles at home 5-1. Frankie Montas with the win. Joey Crabiel with the loss. The Padres beating the Reds in the... Reds at home 4-1. Sean Maia with the win. Nick Lodolo with the loss. Taylor Rogers with the save. Thing to know in this game is that the Reds are actually on like a seven-game losing streak, including this loss. And in the first inning, thanks to Tommy Pham's uh, home, solo home run, they got their first lead in a game in 54 innings in that Six, well, at the time, six, now seven-game losing streak. Leaked in last long as it would end in the bottom half as thanks to a two-run home run for Manny Machado. And then last game, that last game, Dodgers beating the Braves 7-4. Clayton Kershaw with the win. Huascar, you know, with the loss. Craig Kimbrell with the save. Freddie Freeman had his first home as a Dodger in this game coming off his old team. And then the White Sox Guardians game got postponed to July 12th. The Nash, the Diamondbacks Nationals game got postponed to today, and the Dime and the Giants Mets game got postponed to today. And then one general note I have from so far: uh, Blue Jays closer Jordan Romano has been really good this year, and even going back to last year before Saturday, he had a 28 consecutive save streak. Uh, sadly ended on Saturday, but he's been doing pretty good for Toronto. And as the week we recap in games wise, so to update the standings, the Blue Jays are in first place, six and four on a one game win streak. In the AL East, the Blue the Red Sox are five and five on a two one game losing streak in second. Third place is the Yankees five and five on one game losing streak. Fourth place is Tampa Bay five and six on one game losing streak, and then fifth place is the Orioles three and seven on a one game losing streak. AL Central standings: first place is the White Sox six and three on one game losing streak. Followed by the Guardians, 4-5 and five on a three-game losing streak in second place. Followed by third place, Tigers, 4-5 and five on a one-game losing streak. Followed by the 4-6 and six Twins on a one-game win streak. Followed by the 3-5 and five Royals on a one-game winning streak. The AL West, Houston Astros are 6-4 and four with, on a one-game win streak. The Angels are 6-5 and five on a one-game losing streak. The Athletics are 6-5 and five on a one-game win streak. The Mariners are 5-5 five and five on a one-game win streak. The Rangers are 2-7 and seven on a three-game losing streak. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in the AL West. In the NL East, first place is the Mets, 7-3 on a one-game losing streak, followed by the 4-5 and five Marlins, who are second on a one-game win streak, followed by third place, Braves five and seven on two game losing streak, followed by the four and seven Phillies on a two game losing streak, followed by the four and seven Nationals in fifth place on a two game losing streak. The NL Central standings: five. The Cardinals are in first place, five and three on one game losing streak, followed by the six and four Cubs in second place on a two game win streak, followed by the six and five Brewers in third place on a two game win streak, followed by the fourth place Pirates five and five on a one game losing streak, and then followed by in fifth place the. Reds 2-9 on a 7-game losing streak. And then the last division to go over. Excuse me. The Dodgers 8-2 on a 7-game winning streak. In first place. In second place, the Giants 7-2 on a 5-game win streak. The Rockies are in third, 7-3 on a 1-game win streak. Followed by, in third place, the Padres 7-5 on a 2-game win streak. Followed by the Diamondbacks who are 3-6 on a 1-game losing streak. And that's the standings update. And then for today's games... The two double ha- the first 
first of the doubleheaders today. Diamond Nationals at Diamondbacks. Game one is at 105. Mad Bum versus not sure for who's pitching for the Nationals. And then the second game will be at 705. Tyler Gilbert pitching for Arizona. Not sure who's starting for the Nationals in that game either. And the Mets and Giants. The first one's at 310. The second one time is not officially out. For the first game, it's going to be Alex Cobb versus Tyler McGill. The second game will be Logan Webb versus Max Scherzer. The White Sox are playing at Cleveland against the Guardians today at 6, 10 p.m. Dallas Keuchel starting for them. Shane Braber starting for the Guardians. The Cardinals are going to be in Miami against the Marlins. Adam Wayne at six, game starts 6, 40 p.m. The Cardinals starting Wayno. Adam Wainwright. The Marlins starting Jesus Lazardo. The Yankees will be in Detroit facing the Tigers. That game starts at 6.40 p.m. Garrett Cole for the T- Yankees. Tyler Alexander for the Tigers. The Blue Jays are in Boston to face the Red Sox. That game starts at 7.10 p.m. You take Kikuchi pitching for Toronto. And Nathan Uvalde pitching for Boston. The Rays at the Cubs, 7.40 p.m. Matt Whistler for the Rays. Justin Steele for the Cubs. The Pirates at the Brewers, 7.40 p.m. JT Brubaker for Pittsburgh. Corbin Burns for the Brewers. The Angels at the Astros at 8.10 p.m. Patrick Sandoval for the Angels. Framber Valdez for the Astros. The Twins at the Royals at 8.10 p.m. Chris Archer for Minnesota. Carlos Hernandez for the Royals. The Phillies at Col- at Colorado, 8.40 p.m. Kyle Gibson for them, for Philly. Rockies have Kyle Freeland going. Orioles at Athletics at 9.40 p.m. Or Orioles started to be determined. Or Athletics are starting Cole Irvin. The Reds at the Padres, 9.40 p.m. Reavers San Martin pitching for Cincinnati. Joe Musgrove pitching for San Diego. Texas at Seattle, 9.40 p.m. John Gray for Texas, pitching for Texas. Seattle having Robbie Ray. And then Atlanta at L.A. tonight at 10.10 10 p.m. Max Freed for Atlanta. Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. And that's MLB Weekly Recap. NBA playoffs officially started on Tuesday. And let's get through the games that have happened to this point. The it, the Cavs beat lost to Brooklyn. Hold on one second. One one fifteen one oh eight. So Brooklyn is the seventh seed in the East, and Cavs went to the last playing game to try to still make it as the eighth seed. And the Timberwolves beat the Clippers to be the seventh seed in the West. Clippers went on to the play last playing game to try to become the eighth seed. This was a back and forth game from beginning to end. Uh, the horn that was on Tuesday on Wednesday. The Hawks beat the Hornets 132-103. Atlanta now faced what moved on to face Cleveland for the eighth seed in the East. Charlotte eliminated. The Pelicans beat the Spurs 113-103. Pelicans advanced to face Clippers for the eighth seed in the West. Spurs were eliminated. And then the Hawks beat the Cavs for the East eighth. And then the Pelicans beat 107-101. And the Pelicans beat the Clippers 105-101 to take the West eighth. Paul George was not in. At least a second, maybe both playing games. I think it was due to COVID. And my predictions for the playing games actually went pretty good as I went 5-1. and one. So, for the first actual first round uh, games that have gone on to this point. The Mavericks beat Utah in Game 1, 93... 90, sorry, Utah beat Dallas in Game 1. Uh, the date of this was the 16th. 99-93 to take a Game to 1 series lead. The... They are the five, Utah being five, Dallas being four, seven seed Minnesota Timberwolves being the two seed Memphis in game one, 130, 117 to take a game to one, game to none series lead. The Philly, the 76ers beating the Raptors 133, 111 as the four seed being the five seed Phillies up a game to none. And then three seed Warriors being the six seed Mavericks 123, 107 to take a game to none series lead. Then on the 17th, 
The Heat beat the uh, Hawks 115-91 to take a game to none series lead. The Celtics beating the Nets on a buzzer on a go ahead layup. No, pretty much was buzzer beating layup. Uh, 115-114 to game take a game to none series lead. The Bucks barely edging out the Bulls. This was a very back and forth game. 93-86. Bucks take a game to none series lead, and then Phoenix beating New Orleans 110 99, taking a game to none series lead. And then the last of games to recap going into today's games, the 76ers beating the Raptors 112-97 to take a two games to none series lead. Dallas beating Utah 110-104 to even up the series at one. And then the Warriors beating the Nuggets 126-106 to take a two games to none series lead. And then today's schedule for then, that is up all the way up to today. Today's schedule, Miami hosting Atlanta at 7.30 p.m. with them with Miami up a game to none. The Grizzlies hosting the Timberwolves at 8.30 p.m. with Grizzlies with Minnesota up a game to none. And then Phoenix hosting the New Orleans Pelicans at 10 p.m. Phoenix up a game to none. And that is all the games for today's uh, for today. And that is all for NBA scores recap. I do want to make... <coughs> Excuse me. I do want to make uh, so I do want to put out a, like for the first time on the podcast. I'm actually gonna put out two hot takes: one for MLB and one for NBA. Um, last night I was watching the Warrior, the not Warriors, the Sixers Raptors game a bit. I started off at half because it was all Sixers at that point. And from what I've seen in the highlights and what I saw last night, I have a hot take that I think that Toronto, that what Philly's going to sweep. They were just, they've just been dominating Toronto from beginning to end in all, the, in both these games. And Toronto's put up a bit of a fight and have had some leads, but at the end of the day, Philly's just been dominating them. And honestly, at this point, I'm ready to say, yeah, I think Philly's just going to sweep them. Now, I don't remember off the top of my head if that was my prediction or not. I feel like it probably wasn't. Let me see. But I think at this point it might just be a sweep. No, I did have it as a sweep, so if that'd be correct. I think they will sweep them at this point. And it could be a hot take. Let me know if you disagree, especially if you're a Raptors fan, you'll probably disagree. But I think it might be over. And my other hot take is on MLB. So, something they introduced this year during the discussions was getting rid of service time, which is pretty much a thing to that owners would hold back top prospects in order to keep them longer with the organization, unless they would trade them, obviously. And they got rid of it by giving compensation for, like, if you call them up early, or, and, like, if they get rookie of the year, or in the voting of rookie year, or, like, MVP, you get compensation for it. And right now, and it got a lot of top prospects called up. Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt, uh, Hunter Green, uh, 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 Spencer Torkelson. Like, you got some of them called up. But I've got a hot take. Honestly, right now, I think the owners are looking like absolute geniuses for having that concept in the first place in the past. And the players are looking... Pretty dumb right now by taking away that concept because Torkelson, Witt, uh, Julio Rodriguez, and Hunter Green, I mean, his first start was good, but they've been struggling, like, bad. Like, rough, bad, like, terrible, like, so bad that Julio Rodriguez literally has a video I've seen on Twitter of all of his strikeouts looking, and he has at least 10 or 20. And they're all struggling. Like, they have hits or RBIs or home runs. But overall, they've been bad. They've had some bright spots, and that's it. And the one bright spot right now of it is Stephen Kwan, who's come out of nowhere and is ridiculous right now. Uh, and Suzuki doesn't count because he never was in the Myers, who's been really good for the Cubs and got player of the week. But right now, my hot take is the players might have been, it might right now, the players might be regretting that taking away service time because right now that concept was looking like to be a genius in the past uh, with the fact that the prospects that have gotten called up without it be- with it being gone have been struggling like heck. 
like just really da- struggling uh, to this point. That's my hot takes. Uh, so then just wrap it up with some NFL news. Kyler Murray announced that he refuses to play this year unless he gets a new contract from Arizona, uh, potentially. A.J. Green's going back to Arizona on a one-year deal. The Seahawks, oddly enough, re-signed Geo- Geno Smith. And then the big news that came out last week, or this week, literally yesterday, Denzel Ward is re-signing with Cleveland Browns for five years, a $100.5 million deal. That's $71.25 million guaranteed. And that is the big news for this week. Thank you so much for coming in for this week's episode. If you are new, subscribe down below and hit the notification bell and have the notification bell on so you're notified when I go live or post a video. I hope to have a guest next week. I do not have an update as of right now about that, but I do hope to have a guest to preview Cubs Braves next week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week from a different from at home. And by the way, if you are at uh, Cardinals uh, Marlins tomorrow night, I'm going to be there, so maybe... If you're there, we bump it to each other maybe. But either way, see you next week. Bye.